Listen up, guys. Scientists have created the first male birth control pill without side effects, and it's reversible. If a male birth control pill was available over the counter, would you take it? Yes, absolutely, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would take it as well. I never want to hear, I told her I didn't want to be a dad. I don't want to hear it because you guys actually can prevent it. It could be a game changer. Why do women have to bear all the responsibility for this? It's about time. And I'm talking from the other team over here. Uh, I, I'm stoked about this. Something is happening right now in a lab that could change your entire future. And I'm not talking about some distant maybe, some hypothetical breakthrough that's always five years away. I'm talking about a real pill in real clinical trials that just passed a major safety milestone. For the first time in history, men are about to have an actual birth control pill. Not a condom, not a vasectomy, a pill, one that doesn't mess with your hormones, doesn't tank your testosterone, doesn't send your mood into a spiral. Just a pill that lets you decide if and when you become a father. If we go this route, there's no going back. There's no going back if we go this route. That's dangerous to the streets because now ignorant dudes are going to be like, no need to wrap up. I'm on the pill. Mm. Rap, 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 rap. And if you're thinking this sounds too good to be true, I get it. We've heard promises before, but this time? The science is different. The result is different. And what it means for your life, your relationships, and your future, that's what we're talking about here today. Let's start with where we are right now. Because I think a lot of people don't realize how lopsided the contraceptive landscape really is. The FDA has approved over 20 different categories of birth controls for women, right? Pills, patches, implants, injections, IUDs, rings and options on top of options. And for men, they just only have two, condoms and vasectomies. That's it. That's the entire menu. Now, condoms are fine. They work, right? But let's be honest about the numbers. When used perfectly every single time, they have a 2% failure rate. But based on how people actually use them in real life, that failure rate jumps to 13%. That's not a small number when we're talking about the biggest decision of your life. And vasectomies? Effective? Yes, they are. But they're surgical, they're invasive, and despite what some people claim, they're not reliably reversible. For a lot of men, that's not a real option until they're absolutely certain that they're done having kids. So, here's the reality. For the past 60 years, women have had a toolbox Men have had a coin flip in a surgical procedure. For decades, men have been passengers in the biggest decisions of their life. This pill puts you back in the driver's seat. And that's not anyone's fault. It's just how the research and funding played out. But the result is the same. When it comes to preventing pregnancy, men have had almost no control over their own reproductive future until now. The same way you're always telling women, go on birth control, go get an abortion, just do it. <laughs> it's light work, right? Okay, so I want to see every man pop this pill. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear nothing other than, yeah, I'm on the pill. You, you sure are, sir. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's not like scientists haven't tried. They've been trying for decades. And every single time, something has gone wrong. Let's go back to the 1950s. Researchers discovered a compound called WIN18446 that completely stopped sperm production. It worked. Men took it for months without apparent side effects. Scientists thought that they cracked it. Then one of the test subjects had a drink. Turns out the compound blocks an enzyme that metabolizes alcohol. So when you drink on this pill, you don't just get a hangover. You get violently ill sweating, vomiting, and in some cases, people actually died from the reaction. Project Abandoned. Then came the 1970s. China launched a massive trial on a compound called Gosipol. Over 10,000 men participated. It was 99% effective. But the problem started stacking up. Fatigue, digestive issues. Some men experienced impotence. And here's the big one. Nearly 10% of men became permanently infertile. Their sperm never came back. 
By 1986, the World Health Organization pulled the plug entirely. Fast forward to 2016. The WHO ran a trial on a hormonal injection. Two shots every eight weeks. It worked. 96% effective. But the trial was stopped early by an independent safety board. Why? Because the hormonal approach was causing serious mood changes. Now, some people online mock this. They said, oh, men couldn't handle side effects that women deal with all the time. But that's not really fair. The safety board that stopped the trial wasn't the men complaining. It was an independent panel of scientists who looked at the data and said the risks were way too high. And here's the uncomfortable truth about male contraceptives. The safety bar is different. With female breath control, you're balancing risk against the very real medical risk of pregnancy. But men don't carry that physical risk. So regulators require male contraceptives to be essentially side effect free. That's a much higher bar to clear. And yes, I'll say it plainly, men deserve contraceptive that doesn't punish their bodies. That shouldn't be controversial. 50 years, nothing cleared that bar until now. And I really feel like we might misuse and abuse this pill. The bop in me is really excited for this. I really just want to release my inner slut. But as a functioning member of society, I don't know if this is a win for us. It'll be interesting to see how it goes, though. Itching and burning, burning and itching. Let's talk about what's actually changed. The pill is called YCT529, developed by a company called Your Choice Therapeutics in collaboration with the University of Minnesota. And the key difference, it's non-hormonal. Previous attempt at male birth control either messed with hormones or had some other deal-breaking side effect. This one doesn't. It works by blocking something called retinoic acid receptor alpha in your testes. That's part of the vitamin A signaling pathway that your body needs to produce sperm. Block that receptor, sperm production stops. Unblock it, sperm production resumes. No testosterone suppression, no mood swings, no hormonal chaos. The phase one trial just finished. 16 healthy men received dosage ranging from 10 to 180 milligrams. And here's what they found. Zero serious side effects. Testosterone levels stayed normal. Mood stayed normal. Libido stayed normal. Sexual function stayed normal. The men couldn't even tell if they were on the pill or the placebo. And the half-life of this drug is 51 to 71 hours. That means you'll only need to take it maybe once every two, three days, not even daily. In animal studies, it was 99% effective at preventing pregnancy in mice within four weeks. And when the mice stopped taking it, full fertility returned within six weeks. In primates, fertility recovered in 10 to 15 weeks. Fully reversible, no permanent damage, no hormonal side effects. This is the first non-hormonal male contraceptive to reach human trial in over 50 years. And it passed. Now, I want to be clear about the timeline here. This pill isn't at your pharmacy next month. There's still a road ahead. The phase one trial proved safety. That's huge. but. Now they need to prove efficacy. Does it actually reduce sperm count enough to prevent pregnancy in real world conditions? That's what the current phase 1B and 2A trial is testing. Right now, 50 men are taking this pill for 28 days and 90 days to measure what happens to their sperm count. And let's be honest, a lot of these women don't, okay? They be missing days, they be forgetting about it. They'll suddenly stop taking it and won't tell you. Men will not do that. We will wake up and pop that pill, especially if it's 99% effective with no side effects. Give me three of them. We won't miss a day. In 20 years, you'll be hearing dudes talk about some, I've been on the pills since I was years old. With great power comes great responsibility. After 70 years of failed attempt, abandoned projects, and broken promises, there's finally a real product in a real pipeline with real results. And YCT529 isn't the only thing in development. There's a hormonal gel called NES slash T that's even further along in trials, applied daily to the shoulders. There's a hydrogel implant called ADAM that works like a reversible vasectomy 
blocking the vas deferens without surgery. This isn't a question mark anymore. It's a timeline. So what does this actually mean for your life? Right now, if you're a man who doesn't want to become a father yet, your options are limited. You can use a condom and hope it doesn't fail. You can get a vasectomy and hope that it's the right choice forever. Or you can trust that your partner is handling contraception correctly. And I want to be careful here because I'm not trying to paint relationships as adversarial. Most people are honest. Most couples communicate well. But most isn't all. And when we're talking about a single biggest decision of your life, most doesn't feel like enough. One man in my comments put it this way. Commitment isn't the issue. It's not having control over the consequences that keeps me up at night. And I hear that. I really do. Here's something a lot of people don't talk about. The CDC ran a nationwide survey and found that approximately 10% of men in the United States reported having a partner who either tried to get pregnant without their consent or tried to stop them from using protection. That's about 11.7 million men. Research from the National Center of Health Statistics found that over a million American births every year are the result of pregnancies the father didn't intend. In the legal reality, if a child is born, courts generally don't care how it happened. The child exists and the financial obligation follows. I'm not saying this to make you paranoid. I'm saying this because it's real. A male birth control pill changes that equation entirely. And if you're on it and it's working, there's no viable sperm, period. No amount of deception can override that. You're not hoping. You're not trusting. You're deciding. A mistake can be a lifetime. A choice can save it. Once you have that control, conversations get more honest. Family planning becomes something you do together, intentionally, instead of something that happens to you. That's better for everyone. Look, some people will try to tell you that men don't want this, that men won't take a pill, that they're too irresponsible or too forgetful. The data says otherwise. A 2023 study of over 2,000 men in the U.S. and Canada found that 75% were willing to use a new male contraceptive. Three out of four. Studies actually show that up to 75% of men surveyed said they would be willing to take an oral contraceptive pill if it was made for men. A 2024 global study of over 18,000 men found that 61% were interested in trying male contraceptive within the first year of availability. In some countries, that number hit 76%. Another study found that of men who were dissatisfied with condoms, 87% expressed interest in new options. That translates to an estimate about 17 million men in the U.S. alone who are actively looking for something better. Men want this. They've wanted it for decades. They just haven't had it yet. And when it arrives, I promise you, men will take it, not out of fear, not out of distrust, but because having control over your own life isn't a luxury. It's a right. When you control your future, you stop negotiating with the fear. So here's where we are. For 60 years, reproductive autonomy has been a one-sided conversation. Women got options. Men got told to deal with it. And that's not women's fault. That's just where the science went. But the scientist is catching up now. A safe, effective, non-hormonal, full of reversible male birth control pill is no longer a fantasy. It's in clinical trials. It's passing milestones. It's coming. And when it does, you'll finally get something you should have had all along. A real choice. Not a hope. Not a prayer. Not a gamble, a choice, the ability to say, I'm not ready yet, and actually have that mean something, the ability to plan your life on your own timeline, the ability to become a father because you decided to, not because circumstances decided for you. That's not about winning or losing. It's not about men versus women. It's about both people in a relationship having agency over their most important decision they'll ever make. And honestly, that's how it should have been all along. Remember what I said in the start? 
a pill in a lab that could change your entire future. That future is already on the calendar. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Would you take a male birth control pill? What would it change for you? I want to hear it. It's been your girl, Rama Renee here. I'll see you guys in my next video.